Hey everybody, it's James Freeman, bringing you yet again another video of Officer Woodard illegally and unlawfully entering private property, battering women, and forcing entry into people's homes without warrants. On this one, he claims that he's conducting a traffic stop on a vehicle that he claims he saw run a stop sign 10 or 15 minutes ago. When the property owner tells him to get off of the property unless he's got a warrant, he throws her to the ground. He later claims that he simply put his arm out and she fell, and then charges her with assault on a police officer. In case you haven't seen the other videos on this lunatic and you're not sure who he is, he's the same cop that pointed a taser at somebody for trying to have a conversation with him, and then charged that person with assault on a police officer. And in another video, he claims to be doing a traffic stop on someone who's at their house, claiming that earlier that day, they committed a traffic infraction. In that one, he uses his typical Brent Woodard tactics of bullying and intimidating everyone, and then threatening a family member for recording him. Listen, Nephew all of you back. people get away from his car, it's a traffic stop, and I'm not going to tell you more than once. Do he it now. Hard. And he's the officer most recently seen battering a woman and forcing entry into her home with no exigent circumstance and no warrant. It was this video that finally ended Officer Brent Woodard's reign of terror in Mountain Air, New Mexico. Brent Woodard resigned last night from Mountain Air Police Department. Video of his latest call has been spreading online, but citizens have been calling for his removal for some time now. So Woodard is gone from the department now, but we're far from done showing you actions of Officer Woodard that should have had him terminated a long time ago. So today I'm showing you this video from August 20th, 2021 because it's the first known video of Officer Woodard proving to be absolutely out of control. It was shortly after this that people started making complaints to the chief and the mayor, letting them know that the police in the town are absolutely out of control. In a public meeting, Peter Nieto stated that if anybody had video proof of the officers breaking into people's homes or harming people, that he would immediately terminate them. But Peter Nieto, as usual, was full of shit, because when he said that, he was already aware of this incident, as one of the victims had already filed a lawsuit and the city had been served. But no matter how much evidence like this was brought to Peter Nieto, he continued to say that there was nothing wrong with what the officers did. He claimed that he had outside investigators review these videos and incidents and found that there was no wrongdoing. We'll have more on that in future videos. 105 dispatch. All three units will be out at 700 3rd Street with New Mexico Rabbit Charles Adam 238 on a traffic stop. And at 28 with Robert Charles Adam. Stop, stop. No, you're in my property. Sit back in there. Don't touch you're me. In my don't, property. don't touch me. Come back I'm not, But you're in my yard. Get out. Get I'm out. not giving you rights to come in my yard. You don't, know what? Don't I'm talk to me. Don't hey, you're in my house. I know my rights. Don't talk to me, lady. Oh, my shirt. Oh, my shirt. No, take a picture. Arena. Arena. Hey, put them like that. You shouldn't use the shirt. What's going on, man? What the hell are you doing? Get down on the ground. Why? What's wrong? Get on the ground. What the hell are you doing? Get on the ground. Sir, I'm recording this. Get on the ground. What did I do, sir? Get on the ground now. Mike! First. Hey, what did I do first? What's wrong first? You gotta tell me what I did first, sir. Hey, what did I do? Okay. I wasn't even outside. Listen. What did I do? Go down on the ground Why now. Why did you grab me like this? Go down on the ground now. Right. Now, what the hell was it wrong? Go on the but ground I'm now. I don't know what the fuck? Go on the ground. Go well, on the ground. Point on, man? Put your hand behind I your back. Down Why yes, you, you do. Like Put that? your hand behind or your what? back. what? I'm Really? Hey, what's Put going on, man? Put your hand behind your back. You can't make you in the door or anything? Like, what did I do? You can't make you in the door for what, man? Tell me what my warrant's for. <coughs> we'll get to that. Huh? We'll get to that. Can you go detain that lady? She tried to interfere me. Interfere me inside the house. You just have a warrant, dude. Notice at the beginning of the video that Woodard called this in to dispatch as a traffic stop. All three units will be out at 700 3rd Street with New Mexico Rabbit Charles Adam 238 on a traffic stop. 
but that's never what it was. He had seen this guy in the car earlier and looked him up and found that he had a bench warrant for an unpaid fine. Since he knew that he couldn't legally break into the home to get the individual out, he fabricated a story that he was conducting a traffic stop. He would then pretend that the vehicle and the occupants fled from him and ran into this house, creating a hot pursuit situation in which he may be able to follow them. But as usual with Woodard, the story that he appears to have fabricated has a lot of holes in it. First, he told dispatch he was conducting a traffic stop, and then immediately gets out of his car, and you see that he's not conducting a traffic stop and there's no vehicle occupied by anyone. So then we get into the next part of this scenario that he seems to have fabricated. Let's assume he was telling the truth. He did try to conduct a traffic stop, the occupants of the vehicle fled, stopped at this house, jumped out and ran into the residence. But under New Mexico law, hot pursuit almost never applies in cases of misdemeanors. Hey, I'm attorney Eric Scramlin, and this is the Tactical In-Service Podcast, a podcast for law enforcement. Got a real quick episode specifically for my New Mexico officers out there. State of New Mexico versus Ronald Scott is the New Mexico Court of Appeals applying Lang versus California and this rule here in New Mexico. I really wanted to take a minute to talk about this case because this is something that I saw in practice that would get a lot of officers in trouble. Entering a home without a warrant is a big deal. It's a big deal for your community. It's a big deal for civil rights. It's a big deal for you. It can Look at all of you people lawsuits, get away from this car. It's a traffic HB4. stop. And I'm not going to tell you no more than once. Do it now. Under, that under state law and now having this apply under state law, this is something that could definitely draw you into a lawsuit when we're talking about entering people's houses without a warrant. Our New Mexico Court of Appeals said we got to apply Lang versus California to this thing, which means that there is no categorical rule for hot pursuit misdemeanor suspect, meaning that just because you have probable cause to believe that a suspect committed a misdemeanor does not justify a warrantless entry. It is not going to be a categorical exception to the warrant requirement. You have to have more. Guys, I'll put a link to this podcast in the description below so that you can go and listen to the entire thing yourself. But there is absolutely no question about it. Even if Officer Woodard did witness the driver run a stop sign and then that driver went into the house, he would have no legal or lawful authority to enter the residence without a warrant. And even beyond that, the male was not even the driver. The female was. There is absolutely nothing that gave Officer Woodard the legal and lawful authority to enter this property, let alone bust into the residence. And he certainly had no right to batter and throw a 70-pound woman to the ground on a property that he had no legal or lawful right to even be on. Then he goes and arrests the female, the driver, claiming that she also has a warrant. But after some time in the back of a police car, it turns out that she doesn't have a warrant. You're under arrest. For what, may I ask? Notice that there's three individuals here and three cops. If these other cops felt the need to arrest somebody, they could have and would have done it as well. The other two cops stand around and do nothing while Woodard arrests everybody. Yeah, they gotta have a search warrant, right? You guys, you guys can. Anybody just... ask any questions? Well, no, we we can ask questions though. That's I, our right, right. You can do whatever you want, but no one asked you a question. No, but that's no, but that's right. Mm -hmm. Lily, can you, Lily? Sit down. Can you face your camera this way? Can you face your camera this way? What's your name, ma'am? I don't need to speak to you. Get off the phone. Get off the phone. No, I don't need to speak to you. Do you need an ambulance? You threw an ambulance You can't. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. He, he's trying to put a cap with it. Stop, on me. stop. Why is he putting handcuffs on me, Mike? You, 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 have to, you have to do what he says. He's hurting stand up, me. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. I can't stand up. Stand I'm up. hurting. You see, man? He's stand forcing up. me to say, I can't stand up. Put I'm hurting, man. I'm talking to 911. Okay. 911 I can't issue. get up. Stand up. I can't. Okay, this is what's wrong with you then? You're hurt. I, you hurt me when you threw me. My side is hurting me and my whole neck is hurting. Okay. Mike, okay, but I can't stand up. Yeah, you're hurting me. He's okay. hurting me. Stop. Stop pulling okay, away from hurting. me. Stop pulling away from me. Put the you're phone hurting. down. I'm not going to put my Listen phone down. Listen to me. Stop. Stop. See, I have, see what, I have problems with these officers before. Now he's mistreating me. I can't get up, man.
Notice that Officer Shoemate in the background repeatedly tells the victim that she has to comply with Officer Woodard, but he refuses to assist Officer Woodard and put hands on the victim himself. Listen to me, sweetheart. You're, you're being detained. I'm not being detained. Yes, you I'm are. Here. I'm sorry. You can't, you you can't make a phone call when you're Edward. detained. You, you have to comply Edward. with they, this. They, they, they put me on handcuffs. He has me on a handcuff, Edward, and he's saying that they're trying to force me Listen to get him to from Listen to me. My I cat. do not want anybody else Edward. coming. And I'm hurting Edward, and then I was on 911. So, Mike, these people I need to go in a car. You're Can you watch her? Yeah, I'm going to take this handcuff of her. They're trying to force me to get up, and he's saying I'm not hurt. I told him I'm hurt, but they put me on handcuffs and everything. Okay. Lily, the down. cop is. Got so, Mike, ambulance coming, okay? she's detained. She pushed okay. me when I was Got going you. after you. Okay. She's detained. She pushed okay. me when I was Got going you. after you. Gotcha. Sweetheart, we're going to have you go sit in the car, okay? Can I ask what am I being detained? You have a warrant for your arrest. Okay, from where? From Berlin. Same, he has a warrant from his restaurant Berlin, too. Come out, sweet. So, sweetheart, you have a warrant, but they can't find the hard copy, so I'm just going to issue the citation for the stop sign, okay? The truth is, she doesn't have a warrant, and Officer Woodard failed to check on it before he actually placed her under arrest. Okay. Okay. We're now 27 minutes sign. into this it's, encounter, it's and for the first time, Officer Woodard is mentioning to the corner. victims That's, that this was a this road, traffic stop. And didn't stop at the stop sign, you came here. That's why I ran your plate, okay. and that's how I discovered you had a warrant. Okay, well, okay. well, listen, listen. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm explaining something to you, and that's why I noticed that you had a warrant. So I came up here to arrest you for okay, the warrant. Okay, so you came to arrest me for the warrant because it came back under my name, so what yes. I'm saying, right? Yes. The car came back under my name. So how did you know that Leonard had a warrant, though? So? Because I looked up Leonard, and he and has Just a now, though. No. Because it was affirmative that they... they no, before. He has the same warrant as you do. Shop Wait a minute. So was this a traffic stop, or did he enter private property illegally to arrest them for a warrant? Which it turns out she didn't even have. Brent Woodard can't even keep his own stories straight. Just so that people know, a bench warrant for a misdemeanor arrest is completely different from a warrant to enter and search a property. Even if he believes that someone is in the property that has a warrant, unless that person is a legal resident of the property, he has to get a separate warrant to search the property for the person he believes he has a warrant for. The other option is to simply wait outside until the person he believes has a warrant comes out. Without a search warrant for this property in this circumstance, he absolutely positively cannot legally enter. Lifting. Okay, so listen to me. You're still under arrest for the stop sign, and then I'll issue your ticket, and then after the ticket, you won't be under arrest. So come over here. Come over here. Come over here. So you can stand here in the shade or over there, whatever you feel comfortable. While the female is in the back of the car and Woodard goes around taking pictures, EMS arrives to take Woodard's battered victim to the hospital. Lily, are you going somewhere? Are you going to the hospital or something? Tell me what your name is. Lily. I don't know all the stuff. We've met many times before. I don't know who you are. Lily, you are under arrest. Uh -huh, you will I'm give not, your information to me arrest? or not? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I under arrest? Because you interfered with me during an arrest. No, I didn't. You yes, sweetheart. Said, no, 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 I did. So, Lily, yes, don't argue. No, no, don't no, argue, no. sweetie. I did not interfere. You, I didn't interfere because I, I just asked you. Lily, listen to no, me. No, no, no. Stop talking, Lily. So, Lily, you're not going to you're jail. Totally you're going with them. But I am going to send you to court for this, okay? You could send me to court because you know what? I, you're not. I, you didn't even say why you were coming here. If you were to so, Lily. No, no, no. Sweeter. So can I assume no, no, no. you're Lily that lives here that I met before? Yes. Okay. But no, and I'm just going to look you up in the system that we already you have, told okay? Me, you know, you came into my house. Lily, I, I didn't come know. in. Listen, no, 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 no. get on the, get on the thing. You, if you told Lily, get on the thing. You, this guy had a, but you did. You just rushed to my backyard. I don't know if you were going to hurt this guy. I don't know. They're, they're, they're taking me so Lily. you can't put me for no because I didn't do nothing yeah. wrong. So I Lily, sweetheart, shh, get on the thing. Get on the thing. You didn't even tell me. He, so, Lily, you're going to be charged with interference with an officer, no, okay? No, because you didn't tell me. Just get up there. Don't forget your money. You didn't even tell me anything. You guys just rushed into my yard. Okay. Officer Woodard did charge Lily with interference with a police officer. The charges were dismissed. Lily has a pending lawsuit against Officer Woodard and the town of Mountain Air. The reason that this incident in this video is so important is because this is the first one that we know for sure Mayor Peter Nieto and Chief Juan Reyes actually saw. Peter Nieto told residents in a town meeting that he had seen the video and that he saw nothing wrong. 
But Mayor Peter Nieto also told me on the phone about a week or two ago that he doesn't even understand these things because he's not a cop or a lawyer. So with Mayor Peter Nieto and Chief Juan Reyes being made aware of this in August of 2021, how was Officer Woodard allowed to terrorize the citizens of Mountain Air over and over and over again for the next year? Stop. Stop. Sit down! What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay, yeah. Get back, get it back away from huh? me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I tell you do something, you fucking do it. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what? Don't, don't talk to me. Don't yeah, you're in my house. I know don't, my rights. Don't talk to me, lady. This is fucking ridiculous. Your mother, your mother gets every video of everything I do. That's illegal. You can't do that. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? And you have to fucking deal with Popeye chasing you around all the time. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god! Don't talk to me, lady. Chief, this feels like an ambush. But Officer Woodard seems to have a very guilty conscience, as if he's been doing things to people that might make some people want to hurt him. Oh my god! Don't talk to me, lady. 